The lack of minority men teaching in the classroom is a growing problem, but IU South Bend wants to change that. WSBT Zachary Crenshaw has the first look at a program aimed at shaking up the status quo. Hi, Cindy Ward. It's in the early stages, but the vision is to help minority male students pursue teaching at IU South Bend and then have them teach in our area. The ultimate goal for them to be an example to the students who may have never seen a teacher that looks like them. It's no secret. We need more minority teachers. The people at the front of the classroom aren't representative of the ones at the desks. There's a real mismatch, I would say, between the student population uh, and the teaching population in terms of diversity. Terrence Harley grew up in South Bend, but never had a black male teacher. We didn't have like a black role model to look up to. As teachers are concerned. IU South Bend's Dean of Education, Marvin Lynn, is working to change that reality. We're in a fundraising mode, right? We're trying to raise a million dollars so that we can endow a scholarship and invite five young people into our university a year. Those five young people will all be men of color and have half their tuition covered, mentoring opportunities, and paid summer internships. But they'll have to give back as well. They could be from wherever, but they need to commit to working in St. Joseph and Elkhart counties. Recruiting African-American men to teach is a problem nationwide, and when you look at the numbers locally, they tell that same story. Mishawaka and PHM have zero African-American male teachers. South Bend and Elkhart have more, but are still far from representative of their student bodies. Over the last two years, we've been very aggressive in trying to recruit them. We just haven't had as much success as we need to have. Dean Lynn says the program will not only fill a need, but hopefully break the cycle. Young people of color are not necessarily going to see teaching as something that's possible for them because they don't see people that look like them in the classrooms. Now, as Dean Lynn mentioned, they're in their very early stages of fundraising for the scholarships. One gift of $25,000 is all they have towards their ultimate goal of $1 million. At the Live Desk, Zach Crenshaw, WSBT 22.